Money to get up get up corruption in Uganda. And uh, the most important question is have we become immune to corruption as Ugandans? Uh, where does corruption start? Who is fueling it? What can we do to uh, reduce this? I'll start by asking Nyabo, what do you think is the reason why we are having all these rampant, these high of cases of corruption? I have to have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little if they had that love yeah, for their nation, they wouldn't have been doing that. That's being greedy for a minister at that, an MP, yeah, who earns, in most cases, 37 million per month. Yet some people take long to see that kind of money, even just 50,000 shillings, even 30. Someone works for it for over two months. Right. Yet someone who is getting 37 at that is even adding in more bribes to make sure that he gets extra than what he's getting by what the government gives him. People should try to consider, to be considerate to other people mm. so that they work, they work together so that that's, the, what, that's, the status in the country can be at peace. Yeah, for me, I think the real cause is because the law does not really punish the corrupt people. When someone is corrupt, they always get away with it. They, they are bailed out. And, uh, for example, I take an example of Rwanda. Rwanda, you can't find any cause of corruption because the president himself really punishes them. Mm. So in Uganda, we have a situation where the, the head, the people up there, they, they are corrupt and they are not punished. There are also us who can also become corrupt because we know we shall go to jail for two days and come out. Mm. Mm. Uganda has a percentage rate, of, uh, our corruption rate is at 40%. We Rwanda is at 2.5. Oh <laughs> it's very alarming, such a margin. Mm. Watch if you are in Uganda, we are still mm. reading. I think we should start for ourselves. You should ask yourself, am I corrupt? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. If you are not corrupt, or if you are corrupt, then what do you expect other people to do? Are you corrupt? I'm not corrupt. That's what I'm asking myself. If I'm not corrupt, then why are other people are corrupt? First and foremost, it's you know the corruption at Andikira. At Andikira Waka Makaga. Mumaza demuini. Again, Oak Savage Fox Sumero. Mamma, one of one to Agala Guna Nagam wine, I'm cut. Now finish calling home lover. Now, why back away? The same day, Mova Oaks and Ozoku, you wait for about the back one day. As I put on Papa Maurina, so my beloved, I have such a bad. Nature of Vokchaka, you have such a bad to be using and using a nature of Vokola. Right, right. and Kula Mani. Into a full of Baco Chain Yagala. Oba 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 Mubi, no Kuayo. Me, I'm opposing this gentleman. Yes. Mm. Saying that it starts at home. If I'm a child and I hear that uh, maybe uh, Chogam money was taken and this man was arrested for the rest of his life, I'm a child. Mm. Then yeah. I will not do it because I know that they will punish me. But if I know that the person who chewed Chogam money is still walking on the street, it will continue because right. even daddy will keep on doing it because it's part of life. No one is going to arrest him, no one is going to punish him. So I know the real truth is that it starts from up. Is the only corruption you know, the one of uh, embezzling funds, is that the only one you know? No because one. there's you giving your sister a job when she's not qualified, that's corruption. I think that's where I still go back to what he was saying. No, but all the same, those big corruption cases start from up. Zendaba is a good call with the Wava one, one hour conja. Obazi a million in Kumi, or Runako Yatati Simu, a Jacuan to Umana Wangi, Kamamuta. On one again at the Mamma de Office, Tia Tualwana, one possessor of one, the Omrams, Tiate to the Zenga, via Bibu Kenya, Tikova to Teruzira, Katio Ronabe and Wagama, Tia, ah, Venevet to Naja to the Wichi to Chapter Tualwana. So now we have to work and work. We can't So Entonotono is acceptable. Entonotono is acceptable. I'll ask two questions. One, have we become immune? The chat what according it's okay. Kubanga in East Africa, we are number one. We are the winners. Yes. No kutamira. No kutamira to chance. Yes. 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 But have we, Sebo, have we become immune? Katepicha tukua atako. Now, otunurati. 
Bana inange wenatu kayo vangu deko. Jitu ino kukula finga fukana yuda. Kwe kuchusa awa kule mbeze wa fukwanga. From what we were seeing here, the corruption levels are highest in the judiciary or the, or the, the police. So, if the people are supposed to implement and punish these people that are corrupt, does that mean that we cannot solve this problem? Because yeah. how are we going to, to reconcile the, that gap? We got an opportunity to speak to Gladys uh, Nairuba, the project manager of Anti Corruption Coalition Uganda. We look at the way forward. People in Uganda are corrupt uh, mainly because of the system. Uh, when we look at our legal and uh, institutional framework, it does not really provide for accountability and transparency and because uh, there is a lot to gain if someone is corrupt than uh, to lose if they are corrupt. I can easily say it's a, a business, it's a thriving business. So there is all reason for people to be corrupt right now. I think corruption starts with us. Uh, if you're driving your car, uh, even before the traffic officer stops you, you're pulling out 5,000 shillings to give them and considering how much they are getting, they will be happy that you've given them the 5,000 shillings. So it starts with us. And the challenge that we have is that uh, there is still low civic empowerment. As much as we know corruption is bad, but the community knows that even if we screamed a lot, what would happen? Because of the impunity, uh, if you just open the newspapers, the dailies, every day, the first page, it's uh, billions of money that have been uh, swindled by some of the executive members, which is a shame, because when you look at what is happening, if the executive me one, one executive member is taking um, as much as 60 billion shillings, 3 billion shillings, then what do we expect the lower people to do? They will be stealing the little because that is what they can access. The way forward, I think, is um, for all people to get up, uh, most times they are, when, when, when I meet people, they tell me, oh, you're working with anti-corruption, you have a lot of work to do. But uh, I would want to let people know that it is all our work. Because if money is stolen that is supposed to be for AIDS patients, uh, we are going to go to the hospitals and that money is not there, and the medicine is not there, we are going to buy that medicine. So it starts from all of us. If there is anyone uh, who has information about a corruption scandal, please blow the whistle. I, when she was talking, I had you saying, yeah, mm. 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 Uh, any reaction, please? <laughs> yeah, do you know why I was doing that? Mm. Because that's what is happening. And what she said, that if the police can be given um, enough money, enough salary, I think corruption would be at, would be decreasing mm. as time goes on. Mm. Uniform yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes. 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 Right. And that's where I'm asking, no. well, if, if you listen to what she's saying, hey, this is no part of us in way. No, I don't have we, agree with that. Have statement. we come to that level where it's okay? <laughs> no. Even be corrupt in the open? I don't agree with the statement she made. Eh? Because, like, every problem has a solution. Eh? As we are doing this, we are finding the solutions to the, to the what? Yes. For the corruption that is taking place. Even as we said, for the policemen, they are sorry to be increased, something like that. We are already finding solutions. You can't just say that it is, we should, we should just give up like that. I don't believe in that. The question is, can we reduce our corruption our levels uh, from 40%? to at least where okay, Rwanda okay, is, 2.5. Mm. And uh, if you think that there's still hope, please uh, go to those avenues on your screens right now and be a part of this discussion. I'd like to move on to solutions. One of the solutions, Madame Gladys talked about it. Mm. She, said, she talked about whistleblowing. Yes. Whistleblowing will only work when we deal with those loopholes. The policemen are paid more 
know so that they are not hungry for money the LCs are paid before we start whistleblowing you have to deal with the leadership the law enforcement the top generally then there we can start from our homes our villages our communities and whistleblow and we are heard and action is taken then we are going to our traffic in a number nerinya rachu wa kusaba sente to mulopa yeah because he's the one in alimuchinto alimulo then me, I'm in trouble. He has got me in trouble. <laughs> if he no acting at an acceptable scene. <laughs> so that's what I was asking. You like, <laughs> are, there are some corruption <laughs> levels that are acceptable. I want solutions. It's human nature. Sebo, human nature. Yes. Right now. Right <laughs> now. Zenaba, it's interesting. It's related to what we were talking about. Yes, sir. Nature and the Take a mateka munkola. A mateka that take a munkola, I wish to see Japol. Even a mateka bagata de munkola, you navia with it. To gamma mateka that take a munkola, Banaba gate camo, but to gamma gate camo, beba. There are some challenges. Uh, there's delay in dispose of corruption cases. Now you get the Pucha court in a backlog of, of cases, vertical mm. anti corruption court. Mm. There's so much corruption in the court overlaid the periodic declaration of incomes and assets and the leadership court act of 2002 uh, mandates uh, you know gives that mandate to, to, to follow up on the wealth of our leaders uh, but donors right now they have threatened to cut aid uh, because there's so much money involved uh, I'll leave you the question do you think uh, cutting aid will actually reduce on uh, the money we eat. Mm. Get our Facebook page after comment, uh, tweet us at Minibas Uganda, send us a text 6565 on your phone. Naira Wilson Bugembe Gamba Yaimba Kaimba, what are you? That's why uh, Minibas.